Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's GCSE Engineering. This um, clip is clip four and this is about hand tools used in engineering. Measuring tools. In the workshop we use three different types of measuring tools. A vernier caliper. This is for very accurate measuring. This would be more suitable for engineering um, and this measures to 0 0.01 of a millimeter. A steel ruler. This is generally accurate to about half a millimetre and a tape measure and that is fairly accurate accurate to a millimetre. So they are the three measuring tools we use. Let's have a look at the digital vernier caliper. The digital vernier caliper is a tool used for measuring small dimensions accurately. The piece of aluminium here, this piece of aluminium, is being measured to two decimal places so it is 33.25 millimetres. So this is for accurate measuring in engineering, a digital vernier caliper. Bench vice. The bench vice is fixed to a bench to hold items while carrying out workshop practices such as filing. It's a bench vice. Steel ruler. Used for measuring and drawing, also for straight lines when marking out before cutting. Taps and dies. It is possible to cut threads in mild steel and non-ferrous metals using taps and dies. Internal threads are cut with taps and external threads are cut with dies. That's taps and dies. Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers come in a slotted or plain head and they also are available in a posi drive head. The posi drive head can apply a higher torque or twisting force than a slotted screwdriver. Dividers. These are available in sets to use for internal and external measurements. They can be used in the same way as a compass, describe circles, or they can be used to transfer measurements from one component to another. Dividers. Engineer's square. This is used for marking out and also to check that items are square, i.e. exactly at 90 degrees. So the square is pushed up against a piece of um, material here, a piece of metal strip, and a scriber is used to mark a line exactly at 90 degrees. These are available in a range of sizes. Emery cloth. Not really a tool, but it is a, a fabric back to brazif which is specifically for working with metals. Emery cloth is supplied in sheets or rolls and used for finishing mild steel and non-ferrous metals. Hacksaw. Hacksaw is a frame saw with a hard blade used for cutting metals and plastics. A scriber. A scriber is a metal um, tool with a very hard tip here and it is used like a pencil to mark out lines on metals. Soldering iron. This is used generally to fit electrical components. These are joined together with solder. Ball pane hammer. This is a ball pane hammer. This is the engineering hammer. It has a ball here which can be used for shaping of metals and the flat end can be used for hammering or striking a tool like a centre punch. Ball pane hammer. Odd leg calipers. These are used in marking out to scribe a parallel line. This part here fits onto the edge of a metal. That's the odd leg and it's drawn along to scribe a parallel line to that edge. Metal shear. This is used for making longer cuts in thin metals like mild steel. You can see it being used there. Obviously safety gloves are being used because of the sharp edges it might make. That is a metal shear. Files. Files are available in different sizes and grades. They're available in different cuts, so coarseness, and also different shapes. So we've got a flat file, a round file, and here the correct name for this is a three square file. Center punch. A center punch is used with a ball pane hammer to mark metals. Um, this is to, they will mark a metal here and then when drilling it will stop the drill from slipping. So even if you're drilling in a pillar drill, you um, center punch first, that will drop, stop the drill um, moving about. Tin snips. These are used like scissors and they cut thin metal sheet. Again, they leave a sharp edge, so gloves should be worn when using these. Now, it's time for questions. 
Which measuring tool would you choose to measure 2.5 millimeters? A vernier caliper. Which tool would you use in the workshop to measure 25 millimeters? A steel ruler. And which measure tool would you use for 2.5 millimeters? A tape measure. Engineering tools. Name three tools that you might use to mark out sheet steel. So you've got a shape marked onto sheet steel. Tools you would use would be an engineer's square, a steel ruler, and a scriber. This tool is a centre punch. This tool is used to create a mark to start a drill hole. This tool is a vise. This tool is used to hold work for filing. Which two methods could you use to remove small amounts of from a steel block by hand? This tool is a hacksaw. This tool is used to cut metal and plastics. This tool is a pair of tin snips. This tool is used to cut thin sheet metal. Well, thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's GCS Engineering and good luck in the exam.